this <laughs> this is massive so go and get yourself comfortable turn all the other crap off if you're watching this on Facebook you know pause whatever else you're doing expand the screen this is massive and I've got up in the middle of the night I haven't been asleep yet I've just been thinking <clears throat> I'm really gonna take my time with this one and I'm gonna be very um, sketchy about um, the, in the description because I want you to take this serious serious okay and the kettle's boiling so I'm making a cup of tea I'm not even going to pause it I'm just going to turn my stuff away so I can't see me and I'll start the colour of your eyes is how God marked your ancestors and <laughs> that gets passed on to you my eyes have got green tint I have the mark of Cain I believe because green is more connected to brown and brown is the norm brown was the norm for no mark brown is brown green is the mark of Cain so anyone who does anything to me will be avenged sevenfold and blue reward or curse is the mark Lamech got avenged 77 fold now that on its own is massive and this is what you need to think about all the connotations this had throughout history Did I press record? Yeah. <laughs> so, in other words, um, be nice to people with blue eyes and people with green eyes. But especially be nice to people with blue eyes. And that's the sadness for the brown eyed people. Although, in a way, I am what I am. And it's God's plan that that it is. And I don't know if it can change. I think I remember seeing my eyes brown once. And when I was born they were blue. That's what I mean. Look at all the connotations this has. Now a few first, quickly, a few other things about eyes. The uh, richness of the colour will indicate your kind of enjoyment of life if you like how much enthusiasm you have for life the the darkness or brightness of them will kind of indicate sort of how good you or bad your intentions are perhaps that sort of you know high in love maybe in giving or you know I don't know something but yeah and then um, the clearness the clarity you know whether you've got lines like planks like you're building planks like you're building up a sort of barrier against God maybe or you know or how, how you know how sort of clear you are and maybe when it's dotty, 
then um, then maybe you are clearing it. I seem my right eye seems to be dotty, I think, and my left eye it's probably not in focus. My left eye seems to be um, planky a bit, planky. All right, think about that for a bit. <clears throat> So the clarity is the important one. <coughs> I may as well get up for good now, right now. I'm going to see my mother this morning. It's going to be nice to her. You see, that's what I'm talking about. And there are people I've experienced like Like, thinking I hadn't really done them much harm, but the emotion I got when I thought about them was big. And I was thinking, gosh, they've got blue eyes. I knew I was doing coffee, I wouldn't have bought it so much. And I'm having some walnut cake. This is a celebration. I'm going to talk for ages about this because this is massive. I've always felt this with the colours of the eyes and then there's Bob Marley's song. It's like you judge someone but the colour of their eyes. See now earlier in history there weren't so many people with brown eyes. I mean there weren't so many people with blue eyes. I mean, no one's necessarily come down from heaven and clarified this for me, but I am getting a very strong feeling about it. It's, um, I've just been lying in bed and it's making sense of things more and more and more in history, both in my own life. I uh, thought about the Vikings, blue eyed. You need to think about that, why? Why is that relevant, the Vikings having blue eyes? So if you're in a battle and a blue-eyed person gets, gets killed and if and if they're uh, Well, if they're blue-eyed or not, a blue-eyed person will still get, if they harm a blue-eyed person, they'll still get 77 avenge, avengement, sevenfold, 77-fold avengement, <coughs> right, cheers, cheers for my, well it's not my discovery, it's an uncovering of truth. Well, hopefully it is truth. It's certainly interesting. I mean, it seems to fit in my family in a way. My dad's got brown, green eyes. And my mum's got blue eyes. Um, when I was born, I certainly had started off with blue eyes. And then they changed colour when I was about quite late on, I think, a year and a half. Now I kind of thought, maybe I got possessed. But um, I think, you know, maybe my dad's influence allowed me to change or choose and my granddad his eyes were brown but then towards the end of his life they went blue and he was married to a blue eyed although hers were always grey they say they were always grey I never witnessed that obviously black and white photographs 
wonder if she did used to have blue eyes. The colour faded. I have to get some old pictures that are in colour. Anyway. And my mate Carl, he's always had such clear eyes. And he's very clear on what he wants to do and stuff. Anyway. I think the colour aspect is rather more interesting. Yeah, so the Vikings. So maybe the blue eyed people, while it was still known, while well, before this information had been lost. God, what colour eyes did Noah want with his 777 stuff? colours left on that scale purple hopefully there aren't well anyway God made those decisions you know and I've seen and think how you know how Europe, so like the blue eyed people went north in a way to stay away from the others, maybe they weren't welcome, maybe they were in their minority, so they were sent away. Maybe the green eyes, green eyes as well, were sort of maybe they were not so welcome either and um but no one's ever talked about this have they no one's ever really come and said well the colour of your eye means this 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 it's in there in the bible Cain's mark So, yeah, so there would have been, so maybe with the green eyes, in a sense, I don't know like why a lot of people have sort of partially green eyes, no, I'm not quite sure what that means, well maybe, maybe the genetics then is, you know, if you're partially green eyes, you're partially Genetics is from brown eyed and from Cain's line. And if you're bluey green, then you'd be Cain's line and Lamex. Well, that is the same line, isn't it? Yeah, it doesn't seem to be turquoise, does there? I've seen people's eyes change colour right in front of me. Or maybe not seen the change in colour the happening. Maybe a bit. Yes, I have seen it nearly go. But I've seen blue go green. And I've seen some really nice green eyes. So I think you can have good clear eyes no matter what colour they are. You know, you've got a deep blue clear eye. It's not too dark. Not too bright. Well, maybe, maybe, yeah. If it was a really bright blue eye, clear. That's in good shape. You're carrying the, you're carrying the cause, uh, curse, stroke. <coughs> <coughs> yes, and this does call for a fag. This is, this is a biggie. I've just been lying in bed thinking about loads of stuff. And like girlfriends I've had that it seems like I'm known to be nice to them. And it's like now with my friends, how how few blue-eyed friends I have. It's like, because they're unsafe. 
<clears throat> like my three, I'd say, three closest friends are brown-eyed. But all my girlfriends have been blue-eyed. And I've generally been nice to them. Lucky. I've generally been nice to... to my girl, girlfriends or girls that I've fancied. But yeah, I think most of them had blue eyes. <clears throat> And that was weird because actually when the other day when I was feeling some emotion about or it just suddenly hit me emotion about um, an ex 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 girlfriend, it was really strong, you know, and I didn't think I'd been that bad to her, blue eyed. And now for us in and I was gonna say in the war as well, Hitler, blue eyed, right? On about the blue eyed blonde haired men. Maybe what he mainly meant was blue-eyed. And they were very successful, right? You know, one blue-eyed man gets wounded is a dead... a dead green-eyed man. Or... Or some dead brown-eyed man. ramifications of this are massive massive and you look at what's going on now the the blue eyes are more and more but they're safer they don't get killed so often as brown eyes but as the blue eyes are stacking up and they start hurting each other they're still going to get the karma so no one escapes the karma. So, you know, what What would happen if this is known? Oh, well, well if we're going to harm anyone, we'll harm a brown-eyed person. Well, in a sense, that, you know, doing something intentionally like that would harm yourself. So if you're a blue-eyed person, you're going to end up harming yourself more, maybe, because it's going to come back on you, sort of thing. So it's mainly the brown-eyed people who need to be careful. And, you know, this is going to sound like, yeah, right, this is so made up, tell us this, so that, you know, there'll be no, uh, ISIS will back down because they're all brown-eyed and they... They won't want to fight with the blue-eyed people. But I think it's true because, like, let's say in the Second World War, France, they're mainly brown-eyed, I think. They've got a few blue-eyes. England is, you know, quite a few blue-eyes, but <clears throat> a lot of brown-eyes too. And green, I suppose. But the Americans, they're more blue eyed, aren't they? And the Vikings, oh, blue eyed northerners. My mother. Well, I want to say cheers. Cheers to myself on this discovery. Does that seem arrogant? Probably is. But here's to you, Stephen. <laughs> Well done there, boy. Did a very good job uncovering this mystery. Well, I won't over milk it. Probably harming myself. I'm a green eyed person. I always wondered. I wonder what you are saying now. Like, what about dogs? Right? Animals don't have souls. Sorry if I'm flippant about that. It doesn't make them <coughs> not special. In fact, when you look into an animal's eyes, you may as well be looking into God's eyes. Hmm? Or your own eyes. Same as another human. <coughs> 
because humans are all unique. We've all got unique souls. And the body that our soul is, all our souls are still equal. It's just the body we inhabit. And whether that carries on in the spirit world, I don't know. You have to, I have to ask what colour of people's eyes in the spirit world, I guess. Aren't they going to be the same? I don't know. In fact, I kind of hope not. Maybe then we're all equal. That'd be good. <clears throat> so if your eyes are not clear... Now this thing, I don't know, like, whether... I like the idea of, like, you know, some people have got the very lines going round. Sometimes I get them... Oh, I'll turn that light off. Sure, I'll leave it off because uh, I showed you my eyes earlier. I don't need to do that again. I think that's one of my addictions, rambling on, losing the subject. So I apologise for that. Not that anyone watches my videos, or hardly anyone, and don't know how much you watched. And I don't know how well that warning works at the beginning to, to get it out. Uh, so do you know what time it is? It's gone, I think it's gone five. So I'm just going to stay up now. I stay up for hours talking, I could. I love God's plans. See, in all we, um, this going out to all the living people, people living in physical bodies on the earth, because, you know, spirits are here too. Earthbound ones, <clears throat> visiting ones, visiting angels, visiting demons. All of us are unique. Anyway, so the but yeah, the, 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 our souls are unique. Anyway, see, I'm going off. That's the thing about making videos when I'm a bit high, is I just, <laughs> I'll just stop and have a think. And I know that isn't very entertaining. And I apologise, and I, I do, I watch my videos back, and I squirm, but <clears throat> I like to make them fresh. I've got to admit. Because, um, yeah, in my last video, I was pretty much straight. I, just, you know, I'd had my weak gap of anything, and, yeah. It's the weekend, baby, and I'm learning. I'm like, if it wasn't for the getting the high, getting higher, higher in my happiness levels and my loving levels, then I wouldn't have kind of made these connections so easily. I think my guide had blue eyes. I have to ask him. Because I'm now realising, like, the journey I've been on recently, it's like I'm seeing what's really, really true. Like, <clears throat> for example, when I got my soulmate wrong the first time, I had a feeling about it and I thought that was confirmation but that could have been given to me by a spirit in fact I think it was when I got it wrong the second time it was because I got this really overwhelming emotion about someone and just kind of went oh my god that's it you know she's my soulmate I, I've treated her pretty bad and that overwhelming emotion, and she's blue eyed, you know, made me make that connection. And, and again, like uh, words from a spirit, as I sort of, I got some truth, and then, it, you know, and then it was another spirit telling me bullshit, I think.
No, I'm not going to name names with my soulmate thing because I'm going to keep that private. But then when I did realise my soulmate, it was after a kind of a, a whole sort of emotional thing to do with my treatment of women. And then right at the end, like, I saw her and I had this realisation that I could see her face in front of me. I have done in the, in the past before and I was remembering other times. Anyway, then it was all making sense and it made me really happy as well. I was very happy about it. Anyway, I have diverted again, haven't I? This is supposed to be about the colour of your eyes. She's also blue-eyed. I think I've seen green in her before as well. Anyway, so I think yeah, people. I think people can. I think they. I think you can choose. I think you can change the color of your eyes. See, being a blue-eyed person. Or green. -eyed. Gives you. That's why I say, is it a curse or a gift or a reward? And in a sense, it's both. I mean, the thing is, though, if you've got blue eyes, you can't necessarily stop someone doing something harmful to you. I mean, if it's an accident, it's an accident. But if it's, there's an intention there, then there'll be karma to be felt. But similarly, similarly, if you're nice to that person, you get good karma. Huh? So for you people who've hung in this long, you see, Have you thought of that? <laughs> Why? It's an incentive to be good, isn't it? What's wrong with that? Don't we all want a bit of motivation? <laughs> I've only just thought of that now. And there's so many blue-eyed people to get 77 times the amount of good karma on you. Maybe that's why black people are being treated bad in America. Not because... Now this is big. I've told you this is big. Alright? I wasn't freaking about. Okay? If you do even something a little bit nasty to a blue-eyed person, you're going to get some calm for it. Anyone. I wonder if most of them cops are blue eyed. You tell me. It's possible for the blue-eyed people to choose to go green-eyed, but it's it must it might also be possible eventually after a real struggle to go the other way. Because I guess it must be a curse reward you're born with. And I've seen my eyes go a bit blue before, a little bit. And my Uncle Tim's, it just did too. It didn't, it didn't feel nice. I didn't want to, I didn't want to go blue eyed. 
I want to go in brown line. That's what I'm honest. Because, like I said, you're blue-eyed. You can't necessarily stop someone doing something harmful to you. But once people realise they will want to love you because they get a lot back. That's where you have to be careful of your intentions, you know. I mean, I love everybody. Everybody. And it's not that hard. Do I love everybody all the time? <laughs> That's a different question, isn't it? <laughs> and I guess I'd have to admit the answer to that is probably no. If I'm completely honest. Thought. <clears throat> Thoughts are very powerful. So intentions are key. Like... I now have the intention of going around being nice to my mother because I want to tell her this. I want to tell her about this. I keep my mum informed. There's something between me and my mum I haven't resolved yet. Maybe this is part of it. Because I've always looked at her blue eyes and I looked at my dad's brown, greeny, hazel eyes. And I just, I've always wondered the differences. I've felt a difference. Certainly felt a difference. But I used to think my mum thinks she's in control, but my dad's really in control. And, um, and I have to be honest as well, like, I did always expect my child to have the same colour eyes as me. <clears throat> but he's got blue eyes. And I've noticed some of the karma I get from them. It chokes me up. But of course he's my son. So he would say that. And, but I suppose there's something about other people with green eyes that I've always connected to. And when I've seen, it's usually been girls, and I've seen, well like I'd say my ex, there was a time when we looked at each other and her eyes would like turn green and I could, I could see that she could feel it. And I think it feels a bit scary, ah yeah, it does, it feels scary. Because it had that power that you. And that's what I felt when I looked in the mirror in Norway and I swear my eyes were brown and they were clear. <laughs> it was a better time then. And sorry if you can't hear me. And um, it was scary. I found it scary. I was sort of like having cabin fever. But no, that's interesting. It's scary to change to a different colour. But I think in the end, out of love, I think everyone will. I think that. But I don't know. And maybe not until... Because it's there for a design. It's been there for a purpose. God's purpose. To quicken the process. Remember that the power in loving someone with blue eyes...
it's all about love. Love is extremely powerful. Love has laws. The laws of love govern. Everything that happens to you is a reflection of what you do. And think and say. And when you understand it, it makes it very easy to love God. Because knowing the truth, well, that is way up there. Truth is important. Freaking important. <laughs> no more important than love. Love is number one. God is number one. And we're all brothers and sisters. We're all unique and that makes us special. Our souls are unique and our souls are equal. We're just in these vessels which have marks on them in God's universe. <laughs> so, <clears throat> knowledge is power. They got this knowledge. Some people have got this knowledge still, I'm sure. Anyway, it's out now. You want all the answers? Divine Truth. It's a channel on YouTube. AJ Miller and Mary Luck. AKA Jesus and Mary. I'm going to do. I'm just going to say. Just quickly, like, Jesus Christ was when Jesus had the full flowing of God through him. And all his teachings as Jesus Christ are good. And that's the way. Feel and respond with love. Someone slaps you in the face. Turn the other cheek and let them slap you. But it probably wouldn't be like that if you were loving. Because you wouldn't attract someone to slap you in the face. God is all loving. And we just need to feel every emotion until we become all loving. I believe I am repeating myself. I have said this in other videos. So there's a lot to be said in the colour of your eyes. <sighs> and um, water. God designed us so that we wouldn't need to eat food. We wouldn't need to. See, we've come a long way since then, and we, the souls who chose to go last, we've all got the quality of patience, and we've also all spent a long time with God. Not that we were in a conscious state, but we were there. So we got updates. <laughs> we got updated. So we've been existing just as long as the first two humans. Souls. It's just we've been with God. And something in our personality. God's design. Saw that we came out 
at this time. First should be last, and the last should be first. That's something that just came to mind when I first thought of that. Whatever it means, I don't know. I'm not sure yet. The future is <laughs> unknown. There are many possible futures. However, there is one past, there is one history. It is the truth. The truth of humans with souls. And on this great day, <laughs> we shall be united. Oh, I'm doing the Y shape. That means a cube, apparently. Sorry, I didn't mean to. There's probably some spirit that got into me then. Yeah. <laughs> right. I'll tell it to myself too. I'm telling it to myself too. Because I always watch my video once. <laughs> Is that just vanity? Well, not, yeah, most of the time, yeah. <laughs> Gotta love ourselves too. love in all directions and to God probably most of all God well that's where we can get most love from it's a massive source of love <laughs> is it infinite? I don't know maybe big right so thank you for watching if you have been watching and um, think of me and I'll feel it and then I'll feel what you feel like you can think of anyone it will sort of draw them to you or it will it'll make some connection if you can make connection there's some people I can really make connections with yeah like um, my best friend Carl from when we were young, you know, we had a strong connection. And I, I got to f f feel, feel my family members, feel my ancestors. Felt, I believe I felt St. Francis before. I felt a bit from A.J. Miller. As he is in his state now, because he's not fully with that Christ spirit now is about 10% that was in July <clears throat> um, but he's just a man as we all are but God, had a, God chose him for that purpose and we all we all have a we all have a purpose. We're all unique. We all <laughs> we're all parts of the puzzle. God's not going to leave anyone behind. All those parables about the lost sheep. There's ninety nine in the field and one was missing. You know, it's the lost sheep. God really loves getting them. God the soul is as he, she, it's the soul, and that's why it makes sense. God made us in the image of Him. And say that about the animals, it's not just the looks. You know, we've got the chimpanzees, they look pretty much the same. <laughs> Monkeys' faces. But humans, God made in the image, in His own image. I know it always says his, probably just easier saying his than his, her all the time. And it could say her, could just switch and start saying her. Her, I think her is sort of a bit the creative. Her is the creative. Anyway, so that why it makes sense that, you know, we're half a soul. 
in our one gender state. So our full soul is with both of our both of our partners. That's why to know your soulmate will really help you feel God too. Um, I might just add, uh, I mean, there is something about some people will never just, some people will just never go with God or something, you know, or not yet, because, you know, this is kind of stage one, and um, if they, apparently, you know, God's got some new tricks <laughs> to teach, and... He's, you know, because a lot of the higher spirits are down helping out the lower spirits. But if they want to stay in a natural state without God, God is going to close his divine love for a bit, apparently. I mean, and I don't believe he'll do that until... But those people still get on perfectly well in a natural state until he opens it again which will be when one of those has a pure desire for it to be opened again and this you know this may have happened before in this, I don't know but um, so then he's got some new tricks to teach the ones who are choosing God's way and apparently as long as one one half of the soul has felt divine love which Apparently many of us will have done, you know, even if we're just sitting in a in a theatre or something and there's lovely music and you get that sort of lovely tingling, you know, that might have been some of Divine's love felt, maybe on a small scale, you know, whatever. So, you know, and, and, and I'm sure before, you know, God is a loving God, right? So he's going to make sure that there aren't any ignorant souls left. So the finite number of souls that have been created will all have had to have been had some experience on earth you'd think probably at least seven years right all the new souls seven years experience on earth and I don't know or maybe longer maybe 77 years maybe that would be fairer and every soul has had then, then that's maybe when the gates were closed. And by then, like, everyone from birth would have had 77 years to... It would be obvious for that long, I'd say. That's my guess. There's something to do with the sevens going on. The sevens are definitely in there, r rhyming with heaven. <laughs> So, um, yeah, cheers to that. And um, see you next time, brothers and sisters. Equal. Don't look up to anyone. Don't look down on anyone. All equal. And love equally. Give the brown eyed people some love too. It's real easy. <laughs> They're easy to love. The blue eyed people are probably harder to love. You feel like vengeance. You didn't see. And even the greener people too, but blue eyed people. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs>